Okay, Aquarius, I'm here. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Aquarius. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Spirit said no pre-shuffle, no shuffle. So, But anyway, they gave me so many messages um, in meditation earlier today. So let's get into it. Remember yesterday, okay? Um, redeem the time because the days are evil. Evil. The days are full of mischief. No code of conduct. Just chaos. That's what the days are full of, right? So you want to start your day objectively with a target. You want to be just. You want to be fair. You want to be neutral to um, whatever it is you're trying to do. You also want to be impartial. You don't want to favor any one thing. So you want to be flexible in your day, but you also want to be objective. Have a target for every single day. Redeem or buy back the time spent, you know, um, in poor past performance or behavior. Maybe in yesteryear, you just woke up and you just did anything and you went anywhere and you know, you, your days were chaotic. They were full of mischief, no code of conduct. But this day, choose, this day, choose. Choose to be objective in your days. Choose to have some type of structure. So that was yesterday's message, all right? So just every day, every day, you got an objective. Even if it's like a, a simple thing, like I'm going to get my car washed. I'm going to clean out the garage I'm going to go see my parents or my grandparent or I'm going to have an objective stick to it frivolousness or frivolity no code of conduct it just breeds devil energy you know the de you know an idle mind or somebody just sitting on their hands or wringing their fingers or whatever that's the devil's playground have objective for your day for the for the, the time, the days are evil, baby. Just keep that in mind. All right, so um, today's message we got, what do we got? All right, so we got so many messages for today. And I hope that this, you know, it really blesses you. All right, so um, God is love. I know, simple, right? Boom, we're done. That's what I thought. But uh, it's more than that. You know, God is love. Of course. So what is God? God is supreme being, right? Okay. Um, if we define the word is, is it a state of being? Back to that word being or existence. So God is existing in love, right? An intense feeling of deep affection, warmth, and kindness. Okay. So, um, I, I think what the universe wants you to understand is that, of course, God, you know, um, I wish I had these in order, right? Um, okay, forgetting one, but hang, hang in there with me. God is, God is love. That's beautiful. So, if God is love, I want love, I want to be love, I want to give love, then I need to be connected to or linked to, yep, God, right? So some of you are dealing with people, places, this could even be you, who you're dealing with people who maybe not, they're just not connected to any God. The beauty of this is you get to choose what your God is, right? Or who you, you choose to serve or who you look at as God. Um, but God is, if we define it, God is supreme being. He's overall morality. So that's what God is. But for some of us, either you, Aquarius, or someone you're dealing with, uh, or people in your life, they have no God, or they do have a God. Their God, their God could be money, right? So then when you talk to this person or when you analyze this person it will be money is love so whatever they associate their god to be it's going to be love for them it's going to be what they love it's going to be what they chase after it's going to be what they put their devotion to what they have this strong affection to and for some people it is money maybe even 
that's you Aquarius maybe you have made your God you know money for some people it's just gonna be all carnal things all carnality sex drugs cars image status likes on social media so for some people carnality is love so you gotta figure out who you're dealing with what is their God because you may be wanting love from this person but how they interpret love how they define love could be all of these things here therefore there is a disconnect or this is you Aquarius um, you might even be dealing with someone who doesn't have a God like quality or a God in their life or they still question what is God and therefore there is question mark in terms of question mark or blank space is love so they don't even have a definitive um, idea of what love is so I mean, you might be dealing with someone who's all over the place or um, they're devoid of love mmm they haven't defined it within themselves there's there's still confusion there and this could be you also Aquarius or you could be in the energy of questioning what is love so you got to determine what is your God what do you put first what do you look at as supreme being because that is how you interpret or that is how you define love there um, so that was a quick tidbit for uh, some of us um, hope you took something from that so um also the next message was or is um boom 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 all right so yesterday in one of the readings we had what came up was like an urge to masturbate now okay if you're not 18 years and older get out of here and then come back later um so we're about to go there Aquarius but it's going to be a twist so yesterday if you if you listen to any of yesterday's reading there was like an urge to masturbate and I had I think I even said like this is for you Aquarius this is it's not for something else or for someone else or you're not trying to you know pull in energy it's not low vibrational it's not negative you're not it's not pornography or you're looking at pornographic images I hope that you're not not in this exercise right and last night spirit would not let me sleep like the, my, my entire dream was about <laughs> it was like the word like masturbation was just like hanging over the entire dream or you know it was just like I of course I didn't perform the act or anything like that as if it's your business but it, the dream was just like oh oh it was like me running errands and then it was like oh and then you need to masturbate oh and it was like me going to visit my grandmother and then you need to and it was just like I was you know almost running from it so some of you could be kind of pushing down your sexuality some of you I heard tight wad you're wound up also some of you need to unwind um for some of you also what I got because I asked spirit I'm like what is this about because this is like this is you know borderline weird um, so uh, for some of you they want you to to understand maybe tantric energy Kundalini energy using that energy the act of masturbation is once again for you it's an act of manifestation um, so when you climax or when you get to you know the climactic scene there what you want to do is in your mind go over all the things that you want to bring into your life what, whatever that may be it could be good health it could be a new house it could be anything but you want to you know when you climax when you're there that's how you that's another form or act of manifestation what I also got Aquarius was that your other half whether you want to subscribe to twin flame soulmate or whatever they might be masturbating and thinking of you too okay I know hold it right there you might be a little upset with that because that that is a penetration no pun intended <laughs> of your of your energetic field and if you didn't ask for that you know that is 
intrusion that's in, you know inv that's evasive or, or it's invasive or you or whatnot um what i heard is that some of you need to do this act whether you are for it or not you don't have to jump down in the comments and let everybody know but whether you're for it or not this is also helping you to manifest it's also helping your person to heal and manifest too in their own separate space okay so it's helping you unwind and it's helping the other person or your other person or your other half to heal because there's some healing energy that needs to go on within that person's life this person also could be trying to get their life together you know like literally really 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 together and they're trying to they also could be practicing something in moderation they're doing something in moderation whether it's drinking drugging hanging out i don't know it's something that's not good for them something that they needed to put um you know a stop to or at least they need to put some type of limitation parameters around so your person is trying to get their life together if you want to take to this exercise you can do so it helps you to unwind aquarius especially those of you who are celibate those of you who are you know practicing abstinence um it's going to help you unwind it's also going to help to usher in that new person or that old person whomever it may be for you it's going to help the energy flow because there's when you're wound up right if you're in a if you're wound up right if you're all twisted energy can't flow so you have so something about open and flow so um that's what i have for you aquarius so many messages right oh we're not done now i might be pronouncing this incorrectly i always get it wrong um calendul cal calendul i think i'm overthinking it um hold on one second aquarius this is my life um some of you already know what I'm okay so so calendula calendula Aquarius calendula is going to be significant for some of you why this also kept coming up in my spirit like just you know i'm washing dishes calendula i'm just like okay so calendula is also known as marigold for some of you who are into um you know herbs and maybe even gardening then you know about this calendula and its uh properties you know some of the properties there are you know it's um you know it's antifungal uh antimicrobial um it could even sometimes be anti-inflammatory um it helps for some of you, especially if you have broken bones or you broke a bone before, it helps with repairing maybe soft tissue, if you had a soft tissue injury, if there was an accident. Also, if you feel like you are fighting some type of cancer or cancerous cells, um, it, it can be preventive in that, in that space, or maybe you know someone who is battling with cancer. Um, it also adds to strength and vitality. So if you've, you're feeling low in terms of strength and vitality, get you some calendula. I do have it on my website if you want to purchase from me or anywhere else. But um, take advantage of purchasing from your girl. You, you're here anyway. It's linked below. It's going to be linked in the video. So take advantage. Um, it also, um, some of you, this is what I was getting because I'm like, why calendula? Some of you have reversed or gone into reversal in terms of you had this real healthy kick, real healthy regimen going for yourself, but you may be kind of, you know, flailing at it, kind of reversal, going back into maybe a, you know, a stalemate there or um, not being as healthy. So it's saying calendula. It's also saying calendula for what I was getting was the fall and or the fall and winter season of course those are the seasons where cold and flu are rampant and we don't know what else is going to come out of the woodworks so calendula helps with of course the antifungal antibacterial uh, excuse me antimicrobial um, anti-inflammatory also if you if you have swelling you know you can 
um, make a calendula tincture or tea, um, drink it, you know. Um, of course, back to vitality and endurance. Uh, so Aquarius, calendula, this kept coming up in my spirit. Take advantage of it. Um, it may have come up in yours also. Um, it's on the website if you want to purchase there. Um, let me know how it works out for you. Um, and um, if that really helps. So we had so many messages, Aquarius. Um, but it is what it is. We're just going to go with spirit. Let's see. Let's get into the tarot. That's what you came here for. And Fridays are our love readings, right? Friday is about love. It's the day of love. It says do something that you love. Be around people you love. Um, go out. Maybe you might find love. I don't know. Um, but uh, Friday is a good day for love. Um, Self-care also. You maybe take a bath. You'll put some rose petals in it. You'll drink some wine. You'll do whatever. I don't know. But love on yourself first. And then, um, and then start to work outward. Give that love to you first. And then work outward. All right, let's see. What do you want to tell Aquarius Spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, so we got the Knight of Wands. We got the Seven of Cups. We definitely got somebody dreaming, daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you, fantasy maybe even about you with the Knight of Wands, thinking about maybe sexual activity. This could be you. Back to, you know, piggybacking off of maybe, you know, that whole masturbation deal there. Um, this could even help you bring in your dreams, you know, with the Seven of Cups here. Uh, what are what else are we getting from the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups here? So we've got someone who acts like they don't want you, act like they don't want the relationship, or this is you, Aquarius. Um, but we've got someone in, in great fantasy, you know, not doing anything, a lot of wishful thinking, a lot of you know, emotional activity in terms of uh, wanting you back, wanting the relationship back. Um, this is someone who created a great illusion about what the relationship would be like or what it would be like. Okay, so now that you're out of their life, they may even be fantasizing about what the relationship would be like if you come back into their life. When you were in their life, they, they created or they cast this illusion that you guys were you know, going to do X, Y, and Z. It was gonna happen like this. We were gonna do this. We were this, we were that, uh-huh. You know, um, but with the Knight of Wands here, we have an actor. So if somebody was acting or an actress. Let's see, what else? What else do we wanna tell the Aquarius? The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, tight wand, wound up uh, uh, Aquarius with the Nine of Pentacles. You could even be keeping you know, people outside of your home or your heart space, or you just kind of are, are off to yourself. You're abundant, so that means you have more than enough. I don't know, more than enough money, food, uh, love. I don't know, you, you just got more than enough. But in the Nine of Pentacles, it says you have more than enough everything because they go over talking about the snail. It, so in the, the Rider Waite, the um, typical, or the, the Rider Waite uh, deck, he has this snail, she has the falcon, you know, um, she's in the garden. So it's just like you have everything, you have food, you have shelter, you have uh, foresight. Um, this is, you know, intuition. This is also, um, again, you could be, I heard pious or chaste or abstinence or practicing something. Um, you could be learning about spirituality also. You just don't have time to be involved in frivolity. Back to redeeming the day or redeeming the time. So that, that's really good, Aquarius. Uh, you could be, I heard head in a book. You can have your head in a book on your learning. Um, right now you have more than enough so you can learn about spirituality. You know, rich people problems, if you will. Um, you're at a place where you can engage in things that maybe you couldn't engage in before or in yesteryear or um, two years ago or five years ago because you were working so hard to get to this place of comfortability. <clears throat> you could be expecting packages to your home or expect a gift, expect a letter, expect a message. Yeah, expect the message, Aquarius, with the Nine of Pentacles, because someone is seeing you as the perfect person, as the perfect mate. 
as a, uh, you check every box, but they're, they're not sure as if you want a relationship or if you want them, or if you're open to it. The devil card showing up, uh, temptation here. Um, there may be an energy of obsession. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. There was some tough lesson to learn, some hard choices that you needed to make. Um, some of you, again, back to falling into maybe um, temptation or um, low vibration or laziness or inactivity, the devil's playground. Uh, redeeming the time, Aquarius, redeem, redeem the time because the days are evil. Make sure that your days are filled with objectivity. What are you going to get done? Um, what the devil card, it says, don't allow yourself to be easily um, swayed or um, manipulated or allowing for manipulation to happen. There's a devil-like energy between you and someone else because you haven't come to understand why you two met. Or maybe you understand it, the other person doesn't understand it, right? So we got a square and then we got a, um, a round hole, you know. Um, we've got, it just doesn't match, right? You're trying to put a square in the, in the round hole or, or whatnot. We've got two people here not understanding the significance of meeting, of the union. Therefore, it, it became toxic, karmic, low vibrational, a bind, or, you know, um, somebody didn't take to the soulmate connection. Again, one person ready, the other person wasn't. There's codependency also here. Somebody allowed for the other person to act back to the actor or actress to act in, um, you allow for this person to act in a low vibrational way. You allow for them to act, um, act the damn fool, act, act like they didn't want you to treat you in um, maybe a bad way or adverse to what they would say to you. I love you, but then not call you back or not want to hang out with you or curse you out or whatever, I don't know. But this is about allowing also, because with that codependency, so um, maybe this is why that devil is coming out. Somebody here, again, is still in low vibrational energy. They could be trying to manifest you from you know, a place of fear and scarcity. Uh, they just don't want to lose you, but they need to learn the lesson as to why they met you, why you're in their life why you were in their life. Uh, let's see, what else uh, do you want to tell them, Spirit? I heard gluttony, gluttony, all right, watch out now. Um, you know, how can I use you if you are not taking care of the temple? Don't, don't come for me, don't get in them comments and come for me and act as if, you know, I'm asking you the question, Spirit is asking you. Some of you gotta take care of yourself. I think that's why, uh, you know, the herb came up. You know I have a problem with this word, right? Um, calendula. Why calendula came up? Because some of you, spirit is like, look, we got big plans for you. We got major plans for you. But you're not taking care of the temple. If the temple dies then you're in the spiritual realm with us and we can't use you in the physical. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing with you, Aquarius. So take care of the physical, the physical body so that you can be of use to the spirit, so that you can be of use to this world, the 3D world, where we live in right now. So take care of yourself, Aquarius, and, and spirit is wanting you to do that. Um, I heard that you're not a spirit i'm a spirit you're a person you still have to be you know under the rule and the law of physicality physical all right some of y'all was been too a little too spiritual minded to where you just not being practical honey yes spirit has you and they love you and they'll take care of you but that doesn't mean you eat a pint of ice cream every night and you're like spirit love this you're gonna take you're going you're on your way to diabetes okay and now spirits gonna have to help you heal that which then gets in the way of you doing other work that maybe you could be helping someone else instead of helping yourself get out of something that you got yourself into 
All right, they tough on y'all today. Uh oh, what's going on? Let me know down in the comment section. The first step to recovery is admitting. You know, is you know being honest with yourself. Just admit it, and, and then you can move forward. <clears throat> Page of Wands coming out. Definitely wanting to take care of yourself, Aquarius, with the Page of Wands. You got a lot of um, energy of the devil and the Page of Wands. Unhealthy association. Playful, exploring, exploration. Um, renewed. Can you clarify the Page of Wands? Can you clarify the Page of Wands? Oh, vitality. Vitality, something about your vitality. Maybe you don't have a lot of energy or endurance. So they want you to, you know, get that up. They want to help you get that up, get that energy, that vitality, uh, that endurance. Let's see. Uh, clarify the page of wands. Yeah, the five of swords, something about reversal. So the five of swords talks about reverse or reversal or going back to or, you know, um, I heard escapism, self-sabotage. All right, so maybe there could be, this could be you, Aquarius. It could be someone else. This is, this is first deacon, Aquarius, so early January. You were on a healthy kick. You were doing well with it. You made some progress. Something is reversing. Somebody is, um, something about your mind, reversal in, in terms of your exercise, of course, physical exercise, and then mental practice. I don't know if you're going back to negative thoughts here, Aquarius. Stay positive in all things, especially when you're trying to manifest. Yeah, your card came out, the star card with the six of wands, so. So the star card in 17, um, Uranus, right? One of the planets furthest from the sun, so it's coldest. So something about cold or cold weather. Of course, we know January, February, Aquarius is in the winter. Something about the winter time. Six of Wands, winning the battle. The Five of Wands is about strength. Vitality, strife, maybe even bodybuilding or competition. This reduces to an eight. Eight, of course, the strength card. Something about your, okay, so they want you to be strong because they better take you into a new existence or a new way or something about your body, 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 soul, and mind, health, vitality. Fame, this is Spain too, Aquarius. You have to look the part for some of you, you know, um, especially for some of the career choice that you're, um, that you're choosing or that you're in. You have to look the part. Some of you, this could be social media, large following. Taking care of self, self-care. Completely accepting self, also with the star card. Strutting your stuff. In the winter time, you'll be able to strut your stuff and look good. You won the battle, maybe the battle over your mind, body, mind, body, soul, alignment. What are we saying for the Aquarius with the Six of Wands and the Star card here? Something you do on an everyday basis is unhealthy or you need moderation in it or you need to cut it out completely. Yeah, I knew a two was coming out. The Judgment card, the Age of Aquarius says the Judgment card. So the Age of Awakening. So this is awareness and awakening, listening to the call, hearing the call, answering the call. This could be a new spiritual, of course, spiritual awakening, a spiritual practice. It's like you're gonna do something big, you need to be ready for it, you have the strength for it. I don't know, the strength to be criticized, to be maybe even at times ridiculed, 
you need to be strong in something or strong in yourself, especially with the star card and the six of wands coming out. You need to be the center of, you're going to be the center of attention or you're going to be the center of something. Okay, you could even be the face of. This talks about beauty and fashion with the star card. It talks about chakra alignment. Maybe you need to do some healing work, meditation work in terms of chakra alignment. For some of you, that's going over your head, right? Because you're like, I don't know, the chakra alignment. Well, take some time, go do some research in regards to chakras, and of course then aligning your chakra. The universe is ready, trying to prepare you or ready you for something. They want you to deal with something, right? Deal with it. Don't bury it. Deal with it. Heal from it. And then we can move you forward. That's what the judgment card says. This reduces to an eight. So it's also maybe even about sexuality, vulnerability, intimacy intimate thoughts intimate moments intimacy feelings deep down deep feelings mystery this is maybe even presenting yourself on a large stage and really being vulnerable and telling your story or something of that nature the judgment card this is Scorpio so um, this could be deep emotional um, transformative change like you could transform or change emotion or emotionally on a deep soul level the dark side of the moon here what you press down or what you suppress what you lie to yourself about it's time to uncover it dig it up deal with it and then bury it and you never have to deal with it again so this could even be in regards to some of you like i'm meeting the same type of person people want to use me people want to take advantage of me so something about you you have to deal with you and then you can then move past that but until you deal with you you don't you don't get to go you don't get to pass go There's something that you need to deal with. This might even be mental Men disorder. Something that you've kept under wraps or un under cover. What, what's going on here? Yeah, Queen of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. That, a lot of mother or mom issues. So maybe you have to deal with mom. Speaking of the moon, maybe like the dark, deep feelings in regards to mom or mother or mother of, there's some issues surrounding the mother. So you have to uncover, unpack that because it's hindering you from moving to the next step, the next level. This might even just be complete acceptance of maybe how your mother treats you or treated you or how she was or how she was not or if she was absent. Is this generational? The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. So it's something about doing, 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 doing. So you got to do something. Queen, now we're getting the Queen of Swords. This could even be a group. When you have this many queens come out, this is, um, this is a lot of chatter, possibly about you, Aquarius. Maybe because you're off to yourself, you come off as detached or uncaring, but you're just trying to maintain your emotional stability. You come off as regal, royalty. You care for yourself, how you look, your body. You may even look young for your age. You care for your children if you have any. You could be a single parent. You're doing a lot and you're doing it Possibly some of you by yourself 
And then you're also um, her ruffling feathers in terms of other people not being a part of your life. You also are very direct in your communication skills. You have something to offer the world and it can have something to do with health, well-being, vitality. This is a very fertile time in your life. You also have something to offer the world in terms of your words, how you communicate, communication. It's clear, it's decisive. You rightfully divide. You separate the wheat from the chaff. It's not, or the, or the tares, right? I, you, don't, you don't mince words, but you also aren't coming to people in a hurtful way. If it hurts them, then it, it affected something in them that has nothing to do with you. But that wasn't your intention. That's never your intention. The Queen of Swords is, she's about edification. She can build up. This is, this is like royalty. You need to look up your lineage. Where do you, where do you come from? Where are you from? Uh, what is your bloodline? I heard Big Mama. I don't know. Um, I know in the black community, sometimes we call our great grandparent or great great grand Big Mama or or the grandparents Big. You know, um, you got to look something up. You're missing something. You're missing something you're not seeing it because what is the four of cups meditation oh when you go into a meditative state things are going to be illuminated to you you're not seeing something you're missing the blessing or the opportunity or someone missed the we can completely turn this around somebody missed out on the opportunity the blessing that you are or that you were to them um, because this was an uh, inability, failure to put you first. They didn't see the worth or your worth. Again, you may have always been be, like put in third party situations where there was competition. This could even be in friend groups where you always feel like someone wants to compete with you or there's some unspoken competition. Um, if there's an underlying energy of competition and it's just like how do I get away from this this is when you'll you have to come into complete acceptance Aquarius because this is who you are this is your vibration this is what you bring to the table you don't see it in yourself others see something great mighty strong within you they see something else and they see that what they don't have they see who they are not they see there's a godlike quality about you or within you. You could be high priestess type of energy. King of Pentacles. Yeah. Maybe in situations, relationships, you were always third party, whether you're a man or a woman. Or maybe you kept up third party situations because it fed the ego as a man with the King of Pentacles here. You could have daughters. You could have a lot of women who it's a lot of chatter around you. And maybe you are the sounding board or you are the one that, you know, when you speak, it resounds or um, you, you shut people down or you're, you're the last say or you're the strong one or you're the one who is rational, practical, systematic, or you, you're going to take a systematic approach at something, especially if you're a man, a masculine energy. If you're a woman, then you always like, you know, um, you always feel like there was competition or you were pitted against. or you are always put in a third party situation, though you have so much to offer to situations. You are beautiful, you are radiant, you are this, you are that. You can, you know, just run the gamut on who or what you are. But it also, they wanna talk about, you are the nine of pentacles too. So sometimes people view you, maybe even in love relationships, as not in need of, you don't need a man, you don't need a committed relationship. You don't need vulnerability. You don't need closeness. You don't need intimacy. Therefore, they give you what is second best or next best thing, sex. So you might need to open up something about your heart chakra. Yesterday, you had the queen of hearts, something about healing the heart. 
everything is a vibration Aquarius even if you say yeah I want a man and I want committed and I want this you can say anything we, we say anything every day right but our vibration is going to speak volumes to the people around us our aura our, vi our vibration it could be as simple as you know again you do everything alone and you don't ask and you don't need and you it just sends off the energy of for someone, it sends off the energy, well, where do I fit in? Well, what can I do? My grandmother told me a long time ago, this is just for the women. Maybe some of the men can kind of chime in on this. If you, you know, put, let your uh, opinion be known down in the comment section. My grandmother told me a long time ago, she said, don't do so much. You know, she's a grandmother. She's from the old school, right? Don't do so much for yourself, baby, to where a man feel like he can't do nothing for you. I was young when she told me that, very young, and I was already married. Uh, so, um, some of you, again, maybe somebody just feels like, where do I fit in in the Aquarius life? That's not, it's not solely your fault. Like you don't have to take the blame for how somebody treat, treated you or if they put you in a third party, it's because you know, you were giving off the vibration that maybe you didn't want anything intimate. You don't have to take onus for that. That was wrong for what that person did to you. Let's just talk about that. That was wrong. But we also have to talk about unspoken vibration words um yeah ten of cups the hangman so this is pisces neptune very watery very dreamy um flighty very romantic somebody's in a real romantic place it could be a masculine energy wanting to bring romance back into the situation wanting to call a truce see they feel like this is war or it's a battle or maybe you keeping your distance from them you're playing hard to get so let's call a truce when in all actuality you are just more so preserving yourself walking away out of self-respect you got tired of being disregarded disrespected this could even go for my men too but so we get somebody who's like, well, you know, um, let's stop this monotony. Let's stop this nothing happening between us, this pause. Somebody wants to call a truce. enough time has been sacrificed is what somebody is saying enough time has gone by let's come back together let's just come back together there could be a piscean person very dreamy not a lot of action with them they may even want to go into business with you or they want to pick your brain about business or they have a business opportunity that they may even come to you with Me a loved one, friend, family. The Timmy Cup says, you know, you could go into business with this person, but look over the details because you got somebody real dreamy here. Okay, let's go to another deck. All right, we'll go to the butterfly deck. All these long readings, Aquarius. I hope you're watching it and on 2X, you know watch it you know or listen to it really quickly this just keeps wanting to come out. I'm like shuffling and it just keeps the end of an era so an era the era of like the classical era so what was it a hundred years or <clears throat> so the end of something for you back to generation or generational you may be ending some generational curse here. And it has something to do with feminine energy, mother, mother of. Um, 
you're going to be different to your children or you are different to your children or child. You're ending something here. What is what is happening? What else do we want? To, oh, whoa, okay. Fall onto the floor. Forgiveness, yeah. Back to that acceptance. You might even just choose to accept and forgive um, parent or parents. Um, it's going to have the courage, like to courageous or strength or the courage to let go, the courage to let go of the, I don't know if you're holding on to grudge or some of you, this, this is not a grudge per se. This is more so I need to say something or I need to talk about this and whatever happens in that conversation happens but I need to get it out yeah gracefully aging some of you definitely growth maturity here this could even also be about beauty ritual or needing to get some type of ritual regimen we did talk about beauty and fashion with the star card coming out so some of you could be getting, you know, getting up there and seasoned, you know, but um, again, you could look young for your age with all of those, those different queens coming out um, gracefully aging. So you're taking your time with this and you're also sage, wisdom. It looks good on you. Okay. Heavenly signs showing up for you. Heavenly signs. So you may be getting signs. You may have gotten a sign from this reading. Um, heavenly signs, you may see coins, feathers, leaves falling from the trees, birds singing. I can't make it up. Didn't we talk about this in the beginning? I know y'all want to get down in the comments and attack me, but I'm just giving the messages from spirit. New exercise program, Aquarius. Get you some, uh, the, um, Calendula, it's going to help you with vitality. Maybe you're feeling low. Maybe you're feeling without, you know, energy. It's going to help you with the vitality. It's going to help you move. It's going to, you know, make a tea of it. New exercise program. This is also a new way of thinking. and We talked about that. You're going to exercise something new in your life. Um, advice advice for Aquarius this is really 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 good Aquarius always oh all of these Jesus I'm trying to end the reading this right here is going to prolong it all right, home. So you get a new home where you may be praying for this. Back to those that manifestation ritual of, you know, the M word, masturbation. I don't know. Yeah, spiritual coming out. Spiritual. We had that spiritual awakening with the judgment card, or maybe you're just studying spirituality. Great body. Maybe you have a great body of work, or you're trying to get back to that great body, physical body. Family could be a big you know factor here right now going on with you um something is hidden within the family okay and it was about uncovering it's also about cover, uncovering your family roots we talked about find out where you come from yeah career your career could be changing or maybe you'll, you'll change careers or you want to or something about your career we talked about some of you needing to be the face of something or you're going to be the face of something or in this career that you've chosen you need to look the part you need to look good you know it is what it is you can't get away from it um prayer coming out so your prayer could be answered or you need to engage in everyday prayer pray without ceasing all right, so you get a newborn baby or you will be having a newborn baby or some of you are pregnant or you, again, you get that newborn baby or this could be starting something new, new exercise, new business, new something, new job. 
I can't lie, guys. Mental issues coming out. We talked about that. For some of you, it is maybe that maybe in your family there were or there are mental issues or uh, maybe it's been hidden or swept under the rug or maybe you're keeping a tight hold on it or you don't want to unpack it. You don't want to uncover it, but you got to deal with something. Magic. All right, make the magic happen in your life mm, by um, doing everything that you can do to bring in the energy that you want to get the results that you deserve, right? Ring. So ring here. Give me a ring. Um, those three queens coming out like that, that could be like a, a, a ring of witches or maybe you'll find your tribe or it could be good, it could be bad. You can have three bad witches behind you or around you or just doing stuff to you or you could deem somebody as a as a witch or a bad witch. It doesn't mean that they are a witch. Maybe they have been a quote unquote witch to you, meaning, you know, they have been very not nice to you uh, or they've actually done things to you. Uh, a ring, so it's like a ring of women. There's a lot of cattiness, a lot of um, arguments, a lot of drama, a lot of uh, talking about you, maybe even getting together and, um, you know, um, conversing about you, negative conversation about you. So they're creating a ring of negativity. Um, just do your protective energy, protective measures, Aquarius, you know, um, yeah, so, so that's that. Um, that's the advice I have for you, Aquarius. This is what we have. I hope that it resonates for you. Let me know what resonated for you. You got to jump down in the comments and let me know what resonated for you. You got to let me know um, what your uh, you know, what your take and your spiel on stuff is. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. Oh, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 9, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the calendula will be linked here in the video and in the... Um, down in the comment section get you some of that especially for the upcoming winter fall season or fall winter season uh and then um what else do we have you can ask a question by texting your question to the number below um get your own personal reading readings are on sale 50 percent off yep use code 50 off at checkout okay i'm just looking at my daughter's uh her school bill. Jesus Christ. All right. There we go. Take care, guys. Many blessings to you.